Thank you. My name is John Klein. I'm here to represent myself, uh, Your Worship. I'm here to speak in support of Saskatchewan's uh, Crown Corporations. Uh, I'm originally, I'm from a small town that probably wouldn't have had electrical grid service nor widespread telephone service when it did, if not for the creation of Crown Corporations. SAS Power, SGI, STC, and SASTEL are among the very best service providers in Canada to this day, often offering rates far below their national competitors' rates. While I was on the advisory board for SASTEL's Community Net High Speed Internet service to schools and libraries, we led the world in broadband access across our vast province. Crowns are capable of delivering world leading services, and ultimately, that's what city government is here for not to make a profit, but to deliver needed services that individuals are not well suited to provide in a competitive economy. It's still possible for Regina, Saskatoon and other municipalities to save STC, for example, by taking it over since we run transportation services with larger budgets than the loss STC incurs each year to offer transportation service to Regina and the rest of the province. If we focus on routes admittedly profitable by the provincial government, can we, we can maintain service levels to some destinations and add a revenue stream for the city of Regina. Try to find another delegation that offers a revenue stream that fits with one of the city's core services already in existence. Other parts of Canada have inter-regional transportation services like Go Transit and Via Rail. The provincial government has failed in its duty to provide multimodal transportation options to its citizens and visitors so that the city could make its best effort to fill in that gap, as it does with paratransit service, nobly, as was mentioned earlier this evening even. I must bring up that the province is paying for shuttle buses to the city's hospitals to reduce parking problems, an example of provincial um, uploading from the city, rather than fund Regina Transit sufficiently to operate shuttles that are available for patients and regular transit users to use as well, which would be a better use of our uh, shared capital. There are smarter ways of delivering transit services, but standing by and letting SDC be scrapped is not one of those smart choices. Speaking of smart choices regarding transit, I'd like to see fares for children be reduced to zero dollars, which would have rendered the long debate earlier tonight moot. This would encourage families to use the bus over private automobile choices, which can have the perception of appearing more uh, cost-effective when that's not the reality. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Other questions? Oh, you're free to go. Thank you very much. Thank you.